one of the texts from uh, Juge Sinclair, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the action. Uh, a tracker action organ is a very specialized instrument in which you put a key, push a key down, and it physically connects to the pipe. So as an artist, you feel very connected to the sound because every motion you have is really affecting the sound in a very intimate way. We thought it might be interesting for you to actually follow a tracker and see. So Alex is going to show us a little bit. So maybe if we start over by the console and then we trace up to the organ. So Alex, what do you know about tracker action? <laughs> <laughs> Lots more than me. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> Welcome to the organ console. Um, we're in front of the organ, which is coming together nicely. Um, today, just this morning, all of the trackers, the last trackers have gone into the organ, and you'll see those in just a second. But just to illustrate what Bill was saying, we can follow the journey of what happens between when you play a note and when the wind goes into the pipe and makes it speak. So we start here at the keyboard, and so we can, you can see the keys aren't level yet because we haven't adjusted any of this yet. It's just all been assembled and we're getting to the adjustment now. But if I play a key, then if we come around to the back of the console, you can see the back of the key moving. So we're on the first manual. You can see the back of the key lifts up. From there, it pulls up this carbon fiber wire, which goes down. As it goes down, it passes through a series of different levers, and these are called couplers. What we can do with these couplers is we can make the pedals play that key that Bill's playing right now, or we could make the key that Bill's playing right now pull down the key of the other manual. So after it's gone through these, the wire continues down to a wooden square, and they're kind of hidden back in here now. But basically, it's a piece of wood in an L shape, and so when the top of it is pulled up, then the side of it is pulled back out towards the church. And so that then pulls this thinner carbon fiber wire. And we use carbon fiber because it's extremely light. It has, we're minimizing the amount of mass in the action. And so the goal here is to have as little friction and as little mass so that the organist has as direct of a feeling and control over the uh, the valve at the foot of the pipe as possible. If in you the old days, Alex, what were those? Were, were they made out of yep. balsam? They're usually made of wood, a light wood, such as cedar or pine. And we've done plenty of organs with pine trackers as well. Um, but for instruments that have longer actions, we find that carbon fiber is, is worthy. It's a little harder to glue. Um, but it has really great advantages. You can stack them much more compactly. They have less mass if it's a long run, that's really important. Um, yeah, so now if we follow this tracker all the way to the organ, you can see there's sort of three different directions that the trackers are going. So all the ones going over to the left side here go to the first manual's pipes. All the ones that go off to the right go to the second manual's pipes, and they live inside a box, and we'll talk about that in a later video. And then the ones that go through the center are all for the pedals. So whenever you're playing with your feet, it's pulling on all those wires one by one, and it's letting wind into the appropriate pipes. So once we look inside the organ, we can see there's another bar down there with more of these wooden squares that change the direction by 90 degrees. This bar is special because it's actually you can move, it moves. It's, this is the part of the action that's self-adjusting. So in the winter it becomes very dry, the wood in the organ shrinks, and the dimensions change a little bit, and this allows the organ to self-compensate. So in the winter time it'll move one way, in the summertime when the wood expands it'll move another way, and this allows the organ to basically take care of, his, of itself uh, in terms of action regulation due to the seasons. So at, the, at this point, now the movement goes up. It passes through a couple of these guides that just keep the uh, trackers from moving around too excitedly from side to side. And then at the very top of here, we have yet another 
set of squares, which we can see from in front of the organ. So now we're way up there. So this changes the direction once again, so now they're going horizontally. Then they go to one of these roller arms, and this is where the order of the pipes gets sorted out. So up until now, all of the trackers have been in the same order as the keys of the keyboard, but the pipes are in a different order, and that's to save space. Um, it's also to allow, basically, areas of shorter pipes so that we can get in and reach past the pipes and tune them, and a whole bunch of different reasons for changing the order of the pipes. Also, the row of pipes is wider than the keyboard, so now it also stretches out the space between the notes. And so the roller arm will take the movement once again over to the left, and then it'll pull down on those little wires that we see sticking out of what we call the wind chest. And those wires are attached to one of the valves. So maybe if we bring the camera around to the left, you can have a peek inside the pallet box. And now Denise at the organ moving around the pallets, and you can see every time one of those pieces of wood inside the pallet box opens, those are the valves that will actually let the air into a channel that runs under all of the pipes of that particular note.